which is actually not green. It's like terracotta. But uh, they were my, I didn't, hadn't met Ben. I mean, I knew Ben was married to Hannah at that point in time, but that was the first time I met you guys. It's so good to see you again. Yeah, and share that wonderful memory. And I missed you the last time you were in. I think I was on vacation. Well, this group, uh, they found one another at a lifestyle convention. <laughs> one evening after a day full of keynote speakers and breakout sessions, they found they had another thing in common the disease of bluegrass. Uh, they jammed late into the night, decided to start a band. All they needed, all they needed was a name. And Martin suggested they go with what really brought them together at the convention in the first place. Please give it up for men with G-strings. <laughs> I am so ashamed of myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, that boy tries to keep it. Yeah. All right, I'm picking. We're green. a horse with a rattlesnake. What'd you get? I don't know, but if he bites you, you can ride him to the doctor. Woo! <laughs> college football fans out there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't hear any. <laughs> any Texas A&M fans? <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> any Ohio State fans? Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. Hey, Herbert. What? <laughs> I love to do that. Herbert. What? He likes you know, to say what. <laughs> yeah. What, you know what LSU and... Uh, Sandcastles have in common. No, what's that? Well, they both look pretty good till the tide comes rolling in. All right. <laughs> hey, 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 Henry. Yeah. You know, me and my wife, we got into town Wednesday night, and she wanted me to take her someplace expensive. Ooh, where'd you take her? To the gas station. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> going up the creek, going in the world, going up the creek, see my girl. Going up the creek, around the bend, going to camp with Daniel Ben. serious part of our set because <laughs> right. we're going to do a song about an old, uh, actually, uh, it's a true story based on a, a, uh, a uh, railroad accident, uh, but we, you know, we're going to try to keep it light, so we're going to try to lighten it up a little bit and perform perhaps the first bluegrass uh, comma tragedy. Or maybe tragic comedy, <laughs> but uh, it's going to be a multi-sensory experience presented for the first time on any bluegrass stage, and we call it the wreck of the wreck of Vol. Ninety-Seven. <laughs> uh, boys ready? Yeah, ready? Be sure and keep the train rolling now. Oh, and also I wanted to recognize this guy back here. Take a look at this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fan. That's Gunner. <laughs> He's not with us. <laughs> Y'all ready? Ready. Yeah. Let her rip, Liam. Turn. 
to his fireman shovel in a little more coal. And when we cross this big white mountain, we'll watch old 97 below. Lynchburg to Danville with a light on a three mile grade. It was on that grade that it lost in their brakes. See what a jump he made. Found in the wreck with his hand on the throttle, scalded to death by the steam.